ChatGPT is out in preview. It's pretty neat if you haven't played with it yet. Here's Joe, a JavaScript fan, arguing with Bob, who is a Python fan, as imagined by ChatGPT. JavaScript is a great programming language. It's incredibly versatile. You can use it to build front-end and back-end web applications, and it has a large supportive community. Plus, with the rise of Node, you can use JavaScript for just about anything. Yeah, while JavaScript is versatile, I think Python is a better choice. It has a clean and readable syntax, making it easy to learn and to use. Plus, it has a huge number of libraries and frameworks, so you can just do it just about anything. And unlike JavaScript, Python has a strong emphasis on readability and simplicity, which makes it a great language for beginners. Hmm. I mean, I see your point about Python simplicity, but that can also be a weakness. JavaScript allows for more flexibility and creativity in how you write your code. Plus the fact that JavaScript is just used everywhere, from web browsers to servers to desktop applications, it makes it a more valuable skill in any job market. That may be true, but Python's popularity is growing quickly, and it can now be used in many different industries, including web development, scientific computing, data analysis, and even finance. And with strong emphasis on readability and simplicity, Python is a great language for beginners to learn, and for experienced developers to use it to build complex and scalable applications. Then they start insulting each other's um, choice of programming language by exposing biggest drawbacks. <laughs> While Python may be easy to read, it can be slow and inefficient, and it uses white space for indentation. That can be really difficult to write large and complex applications. The code is just gonna be really hard to read. That may be true, but JavaScript has its own weaknesses. It's dynamically typed, which makes it harder to catch errors and bugs at runtime. And because it's executed on the client side of the web browser, it can be vulnerable to security issues if not used properly. I mean, I see your point again, but I think the benefits of JavaScript outweigh its drawbacks. And with the right tools and practice, you can avoid many of the security issues that you mentioned. I agree that JavaScript has its benefits, but I still think Python is the better choice for most projects. It has a large and active community, a wealth of libraries and frameworks, and it's straightforward and read <laughs> and it's straightforward and readable syntax. Plus, it's simple. It makes a great language for beginners to learn. Finally, they start attacking each other personally. <laughs> I can't believe you would even consider using Python over JavaScript. JavaScript is superior in every way. You must not know what you're talking about if you think otherwise. That's really ignorant and closed-minded thing to say. Just because I prefer Python does not mean I don't know what I'm talking about. And just because you like JavaScript doesn't mean it's the best language for every situation. You need to be more open-minded and respectful of other people's opinions and choices. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to attack you personally. I just feel strongly about JavaScript. And I think it's the best language out there. I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree on this one. That's okay, I understand where you're coming from. We all have different preferences and opinions, and that's okay. Let's just agree to respect each other's choices and move on. ChatGPT by OpenAI. It's fun to play with.